All right, so with all our WinISD parameters in hand, we're gonna to need to build or calculate how to build a subbox that meets those parameters. To do that, I'm gonna use Subbox Pro. So in the previous video, I took WinISD, took my driver parameters, and I came up with a box internal dimension of 1.713 and a tuning frequency of 26.93 that I'm gonna build my first box with to see how that works. The program I'm going to use is uh, Subbox, and it's just a website. Uh, the address will be in the link in the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to a secondary monitor, and then I'm going to click on Build a Subwoofer Box, and let's see what we can come up with here. Uh, to start out with material thickness, I just measured this as 0.66 of an inch, and the width that I can use, 24, is the widest pieces that I have this lay-in of MDF in the garage, so we'll start with that. Now it says width here, but I'm definitely not going to be orienting the box this way. Shit, let's see if it uh, changes the, the dimensions if I do it like this. And then click on calculate. It does do it, uh, but I'm thinking because I want the port on the front. Yeah, it's, I want a slot on the bottom panel, so let's see what that comes up with. Yeah, that's going to get goofy. So I'm going to go back to the box here and we'll... Just change the orientation. I'm going to go 24 by 12 and the net internal volume that's going to be that number we have off of our win ISD which is 1.713 and material thickness is in there. Perfect single front panel. Calculate that. All right there's our preliminary design. Now for the subwoofer it's going to be in 8 inch and the cutout is probably I don't know 7.5 something like that. That's not too fussy. Don't care much about that. I just it's just for the appearance on the little box here. We are going to have one port that'll be a slot on the front panel and the tuning frequency also from WinISD is 26.93 and the port area, square inches, you can take that right out of WinISD as well. We want uh, inches squared and if this unit of measure is wrong, just click on the unit of measure here and it'll change to whatever you need. No, my ards, we want square inches, I think. All right, so let's go one by, I think we had 12, which will make that interior dimension probably a little less, by 14 inches deep. So we can go a little bit more. Let's go 13, and calculate that. Yeah, there we go, that works. Back to our port, and port displacement in cubic feet. That's gonna be back off of our WinISD. So let's go uh, one by 12, would be close, would be perfect. Now this is going to need to be pretty accurate. So one point, we'll go one by 13 and the shape is square. My bad, let's try that. That's meters, centimeters, where's our inches? There's our square inches, perfect. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna simplify this and I'm gonna keep the event diameter exactly 12 uh, inches, which is one foot here, and that gives me a uh, vent cross area of 12 square inches, and it says the vent is supposed to be 23.7 inches long. I can change this and make it shorter if I take this down. So let's do that and see what that looks like here, because I want the, I'd like the vent to be able to sit Perfect, if I do a half inch. Now the other thing I'm gonna have to look at then if I do that and make the vent smaller, that I just don't exceed the capacity and get weird vent sounds. So I think I decided on 25 was gonna be the max that would feed this thing for watts. And it does stay under that 17. So it looks like that's gonna work the best. So this will give me a half inch vent by uh, 12. Now if I wanna make this really simple, and I make it the same thickness as my lumber, I can use them as shims. 6.6 six, uh, makes the vent 14 inches long, so that's too long. Fortunately, that's not gonna work, so we're gonna have to stick with 0.5. So 0.5 means my cross area of my vent is six square inches, so we're gonna take and put that into our Subbox Pro in our port section, and we're gonna calculate that and see what we get. Here it says it's gonna be 16.01 inches long, and that is not right. So let's see if we can fix that. Because here it's saying 10.94 inches long. 26.93, that's right, box. 
1.16. Ah, there's the problem, I think. Yes, this should be 1.713. Okay, let's calculate that. Material thickness 0.66. Uh, I also changed the uh, box height to 13.32, and that's just so that I can get uh, 12 inch uh, pieces there for cutting, just to kind of simplify things for me a little bit. Let's go back to the port and let's see what that looks like. Port length says 10.02 inches under those circumstances, which is pretty close to what our Win ISD is saying. That's 10.94. And uh, I'm not sure which one of these I would trust more. Probably Win ISD. Win ISD comes with a lot of history, so. I think I can very easily cut that port then at uh, 10.94 inches to make it work for here. Because uh, here they've got it as 9.36. Going behind, oh, it's uh, because of the 0.66 of the material thickness there. But here you can see the finished box already. Uh, there's kind of the rough design. This speaker was going to going to sit a little bit lower and the tweeter will come up on top but that's kind of how I think I'm going to build this thing. What's nice about this too is I got a cutting list right on the bottom and it tells me all the pieces that I need to make this happen. I think I've got enough material in the garage to make this box. I guess we will find out. If you want to see how this thing comes together, a link's going to be up in the side here as soon as I've figured out for myself.